Hey guys, how are you today? So on my YouTube channel, CG How, if you go to home and there are lots of videos in for membership. So if I play all my membership content, see how many videos 711 and still lots of people don't want to join my membership. Uh, even though it is under $1 only. So if you just hit the join join button, this is just 59 rupees per month that is like around 0.7 dollar okay so if you still don't want to so i'll make some of these tutorials element for free for all of you guys so let's say this first video this or breakdown this school or i have a breakdown video for membership so let's say if i'll see if I just want to show you how to create this vibrating center and this kind of ring like a basic thing if I want to show you for all my subscriber so let's create it so I'll just open the unreal inside unreal engine 5.5 so first we will create that ring and this thing uh, I will also create that vibration so i'll just quickly make a material first m and radial and why i'm making a radial although we have a default radial let me show you where is the default radial in the niagara so if i take a niagara and from the templates i take this fountain fx and by default sprite render has a material that has a radial but that is additive so you cannot make that black so to make it black you have to make it anything but not additive so i'll just make a translucent and unlit let's make it two-sided and i'll just take the particle color and then i'll take a radial and just multiply radial is just a round texture and just connect it to alpha I'll just save it, browse it and then use it here. So although my particle is not visible, let it compile. I think I have some issue. I'll just take something weird in my project. I have to I have multiple fountains actually if I type the uh, fountain. okay so i'll just take this again i hopefully should work yeah so it's working now and i'll just make this gray background and now i'll just change the material and then i'll just delete all these things i don't need i just need actually for that black part i just need one particle so i'll just take the first and it should not die so i'll just make the life infinite and it should not spawn again so i'll just make the loop behavior uh, once so there will be just one particle that will be there forever and you can make this of course black and if you want to make it hard you can just increase the alpha it will be hard cool so basically now you have this and you can just copy and paste this and if i just delete the sprite render take again it will come with this material which is actually additive so it will not make that black so i will reset this now this is white okay and now we have the edge because we have the black and the white white is bigger than and white is bigger than because it has random size so i'll just make this uniform and it is 10 and now i'll make the white little bigger so i'll just make it 12 so every time it will be bigger than that okay you can also do that in a single emitter if you want you can take the multiple sprites here so if you have this and you can take another sprite render it will come with that but the size is same so you can just make the different size so how you do that basically if you go to the bindings this is connected with the sprite size and this one also connected with the sprite size and sprite size is same for both so let's rename this this is like black and this is like edge okay 
So basically for the edge, what I'll do, I'll take here uh, a vector two, okay? And then what I'll do, I'll add, okay, this will be our add, size of the sprite, then I'll add like two. So this is two more units and that I will use here to the vector. And basically you have to rename this so this is edge size okay and it's still not visible so if i turn this off because this is also taking the black color so for that it has also this color so what i'll do i'll connect here a linear color and again i will uh, i'll just rename this and i'll call it edge color and then this is white so i'll use it here now we have this in a single emitter so we can just delete that okay and now if you, if you want to vibrate so you can just take here uh, because we just want to vibrate the size not the position so i'll take the scale and uniform and notice when i scale it it's a scaling but white is not scaling okay because here something weird, I took this size. I think I have to take this. I should actually. Okay. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just drag it here. Yeah, now it's updating. Cool. So now I can just add a sign and reduce the period very small value and if i play this is actually too small and actually this size will be like 0.1 so depending on how you want it and now you can change the edge color or anything you want like this purplish this pinkish anything like this so now we have that vibrating thing, this thing. And of course you can make that bright if you want, like 50, 20, okay. So yeah, I will not make that bright. This much is enough. Then it has a ring here. It has some energy going on. It has some black edge. So I'll, I'll not make this mesh thing. So make a black background you can just duplicate this and paste and let's call it b and pg so in here i'll delete this it has this black and i delete this and it has just black but it's very sharp so i'll just make it like 0.5 or 1 and make the size a little bigger so it will have this but i will not animate the size and also we have to work on shorting so this should be above so i'll make the shorting one and for this also one so now this is zero in the shorting so it is the lower layer and it is the upper layer cool so it has that black thing although you can make this little more like purplish this type then your black center will be like pop up cool then you can add these kind of rays kind of thing that you can make a quickly a material i'll just make a quick material or maybe i'll just let's add a quick material so i'll duplicate my radial material m energy and one thing i will change here just i'll take them or a texture i have a separate tutorial on this texture so if you don't have this texture you just watch those tutorial okay you can add lots of things here like pan like random tiling and lots of things but i will not do that for now and let's also use here you can also make this parameter all these things I'm doing in this tutorial in the membership video. So if you want to see that in detail, you can watch. But if you still don't want to take the membership, I have already lots of free tutorials where I'm doing the same thing. 
power in again. So I'll just save it. Browse it here. I'll duplicate this, copy paste, and let's call it energy. And in this one, I'll replace the material first. And this should be like this. You can randomize it. And this should be keep spawning. And I'll use the spawn rate like 10. And then life should be there. And I'll make this velocity aligned. And then there should be a velocity, of course, point velocity. And then size should be stressed on one axis like this. But notice the center is here on the sprite, there's a center. So you can offset that. So now you'll see. I'll make it like 0 0.9, 0 0.8. So you have this, and I guess I have stressed too much. And also, life should be like five. And you can also randomize this thing here if you want, and they should be paid and paid out. like this cool you can also duplicate it and but what you can do i'll just reset this and this instead of velocity you can just take a size and just scale it up and cool and i'll make this i'll make actually a little more bigger so there will be something like this and you can again just to make variation you can also reset this thing so if i use uniform like 150 and that is too much 20 and 10 this is also giving you a cool vibe okay and these things, uh, I think velocity is too high. So this is how you can make cool things. You can also duplicate this one. And one more thing you can do. You can use the same material if you want. Uh, all thing, uh, Or you can just delete this and take uh, this one, which is a sprite. Uh, just a radial. So what you can do, make a velocity align, make the size little less, maybe two, one, five, two, or maybe one point two, three and one, maybe fifty or something. Add some curl noise. And I'll make the light maybe 1.5, 1. And size, I'll just take the size here and just make this little down. And I'll make the brightness maybe 50, 20. So you will have something cool like this. There are lots of things you can do you can exactly make this or you can make your own variation but this is what you can do i think it looks nice i think we can just make this little more faster maybe one five one five and one more thing i'll do this glow should have less life it will connect with that. Yeah, now it's connected with that. 
so it is faster so this is what you can thanks for watching keep learning bye bye